the government of the NPP President Okufado led government is heading to the IMF. Mm -hmm. um, this is the 17th time Ghana is going to the IMF for yes, a bailout. Yes. Um, between 2009 to 2016, um, the administration of the NDC, Ghana went to IMF twice. Mm. If you may recall, we went mm. to IMF in 2009 and we went there again in 2015. Mm. Uh, but it is important to, to analyze the circumstances that, is, that has led Ghana uh, to IMF. Mm. In 2015, the circumstances that led Ghana to IMF is very different from the circumstances that is leading mm. Ghana how, how to different? IMF today. Mm. Because in 2015, um, there was no global pandemic. There was no um, war between Russia and Ukraine at that time. I wasn't even sure they had the, made up their mind to even there, there was fight. A, there was an issue with crude, global crude and oil. No, but that wasn't the reason why Ghana went to IMF. Mm. I have, I have today, whilst I was coming, I brought reports from IMF. Mm. I have their 2015 annual report here. And according to their report, Ghana went to IMF because of the mess in the banking sector, mm. basically, and because the city was depreciating and because of high inflation rates. Mm. Let's ask ourselves, after the NDC Mahama depreciation went to IMF, were they able to clean up the banking sector? But, 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 Obviously, they, 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 they couldn't clean up the banking sector. So the NDC-led Mahama depreciation specifically went to the IMF due to economic mismanagement, mm. because they couldn't manage the economic properly. But today, that is not the case. Mm. Because um, if, if we are to say today the government has mismanaged the economy, this is an economy mm. that was paying teacher training allowance before the pandemic. This is an economy that was financing secondary education mm. for students free senior high school. This is an economy um, that was funding one district, one factory. Mm. This is an economy that revived the Uncle Ugo Dashanti. This is an economy that revived mm. Wanku. I mean, this is an economy that has done so well. You, you let us to, judge you the, the, let the us, let us that this economy is overburdened. But uh, if certain, this, remember, this economy is not overburdened, but what I want you to understand mm. is that um, the government today heading to IMF is not because of as a result of economic mismanagement, like we went to IMF in 2015 as a result of economic mismanagement, mm -hmm. of which NDC did themselves admitted to the fact that they had mismanaged the economy because mm -hmm. um, corruption was at the peak at that time. Mm -hmm. They were paying at that time when we went to IMF, Ghanaians were sleeping in darkness. Mm -hmm. There was no power. And money was the problem, according to John Jinapo, the former deputy power minister. He told us that, frankly, money was the problem in fixing them. So today there is no power mm. crisis. Today we are not suffering from any domestic crisis. All the crisis we are going through today as a nation is because of the COVID-19 pandemic, um, which was deepened by the Russian-Ukraine war. Mm. And so clearly, the circumstances that has led mm. the president, the Kufado led MPP administration to IMF, isn't the same as what led the president Muhammad administration to have.